Hey Pisces, Alice here with your monthly reading. Um, yes, I understand that this is late, but I guess better late than never. <laughs> I mean, I never. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight with you. I never put the intention for this channel to be something that is like weekly predictions or monthly predictions or even predictions in general I I'm not psychic so there's no point in me predicting things I just read current energies so it really doesn't matter when this happens so I am putting the intention out there that this is for I know it says May but and it's June today <laughs> but I'm putting this out here for the intention that it is like it is in the next month so it's not a June reading because those will be different but this is you know you can just consider it a reading um to be honest that's how i would take all these readings um because whenever you find them is when you're meant to find them um there are like almost 200 videos on the channel right now which is crazy that i have done that many chant uh, that many readings and a lot of them are like all of them in one so it's like even more than that um like 12 in one uh but yeah, so I mean, it doesn't matter when you find those readings, that's when you're meant to find them. I just put the dates because that's when I pull on the current energies. You know, it's more for my information. I mean, you can take it as well, um, that this is the current energy and you can take from that for, you know, if you want to figure something out for yourself, but um, because energies change. So maybe you want to know when the current, when it was taken, but it really doesn't matter because when you find this reading, is when you were meant to find it and that is your timeline so this reading would be a month the next month from when you find it I hope that makes sense I mean I know I try to explain this a lot because I find at least for me um time the concept of time like lately like since I've been on this like spiritual journey and everything is confusing because there is no time and it's very confusing for me when you know you spend your life thinking time is one way uh when it's not actually i mean i never really thought it was linear um like you move forward like i've always been very interested in things like time travel and the science of time and you know how time um moves in space and how like is there time and everything and, like i've always been interested in that and so like now with this whole spiritual journey and everything it's it's never it hasn't like changed my perception but i find it now very difficult to explain time <laughs> um at least in the way that i um feel it and when i'm trying to do readings i feel like i'm always explaining time because i want to make sure that you when you're watching that you understand the time i mean you don't have to because it's like very like woo woo and it can like make you go cross-eyed like it does for me constantly um, but I just feel like I'm trying to explain like the bare minimum that the dates don't really matter. Um, you know, what matters is the reading, right? Um, it doesn't matter when it happens. It's just, it's here and this is the reading. So that being said, so, you know, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find it, this is when you're meant to find it in your timeline. This is my timeline right now. And when you find it, it's your timeline. <laughs> Uh, okay, enough about the time. So what is this? This is going to be your big mega reading that I've been doing um, for all the signs, which really it's not really for all the signs. It's just 12 readings and you pick and choose where you fit into that, um, what you are drawn to and where you fit in. Um, so if you feel like you're a Pisces or you identify with being a Pisces because these are just really identifiers for me then this reading is there's likely something in here for you um yeah okay so I'm going all over the place are you all over the place right now because I feel like I can't keep things straight I mean I'm keeping things straight but it's like I'm I'm going back around like to, <laughs> I've done this 11 times right so there is there is a format here you know, go from here to here to here, but I feel like I'm going from here to here to back to here to here, then back to here. I don't know. I don't know what that energy is about. Um, 
okay what is this three readings three readings in one uh, so we're gonna look at sort of three different areas of energy here for you for this month uh, so we're gonna look at the incoming energy for the next month uh, just whatever spirit wants you to know um, yeah yeah I mean that's it's it, it you know dealers choice basically whatever spirit feels like you need to know for this reading is going to show up there and then we're going to the second part is we're gonna look at um, your your person that you have history with so like past person um, I mean this can be also current person past slash current person this is somebody who you have history with and likely it's the person that you've been thinking of the person that's on your mind um, the person whose energy is attached to you um, very likely it's this person so this is per this is somebody who you have some history with you may or may not be talking to this person I don't know um, I haven't really like looked at any of the energy to, to know um, and then the third part is new energy then we're gonna see what kind of new energy is coming for you coming towards you this in the next month um, this is likely this is, is either somebody who you haven't met yet or somebody who you've met recently but you have like barely any history with I would say you met them in the last like two months I probably wouldn't go further than that so I would say like I wouldn't go before yeah the last two months I was gonna say a time frame but then I realized that's my time not yours so yeah in the in the past two months I probably wouldn't go further than that um, it doesn't it, that's not my intention my intention is for new energy in that sort of sphere but they're not three separate readings so we have to consider that the readings all um what's the word they are relevant to each other so it's not just three readings they're three readings that kind of go together you'll see what i mean um it's one big reading with three parts to it um yeah so just keep in mind that even though this is a big reading and it's going to take some time probably about two hours that seems to be where i've been going and i can just tell now by the way my like i'm talking and the way that the energy is this is going to take two hours <laughs> um they, um so just keep that in mind and also keep in mind that this is a general reading it's not a personal reading even though it could feel like that at times but it's not so just take what resonates leave what doesn't um, you know if it doesn't make sense to you or it's not like clicking with you or hitting with you you know just leave it um, it's not your story you know I, I you know there are many stories here for people because you know I putting this on YouTube and I plan to keep it here for some time so there may be many messages here so just take the ones that resonate and leave the ones that don't just don't don't try to force it into your story if it's not your story I mean I know you've heard this before probably so I'm just reiterating reminding you gentle reminders here uh, again also this reading is if you know you have Pisces Sun Moon rising Venus or you have Pisces dominant uh, perhaps you're cross watching for a Pisces which I will warn you um, I, yeah, I take the side of the identifier of the sign that I'm reading for. So if you're a cross watcher and I call you stupid, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Don't take offense to that. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. I always find cross watch at your own risk because that's usually what ends up happening. So you might get triggered or hurt or something like that. So just, you know, be mindful of that. Um... Is there anything else that I need to add before we begin? Uh, no. The only thing I'm going to say is that this is an Alice in Wonderland themed reading. You know, I, I enjoy Alice in Wonderland. It's like one of my favorite stories and it has become more relevant to me as I've been on this spiritual journey because it is like falling down the rabbit hole into this whole other world that kind of you know opens your eyes if you allow yourself to see things instead of just closing your mind and just you know not even wanting to look at things 
and not even wanting to be curious or discover things and um yeah so i i do like alice in wonderland a lot i have a lot of alice in wonderland themed um uh, resources i guess tools tools so all right so what we're gonna start with is an oracle card and this oracle card is going to be what spirit would like you to know um this month like what you should be keeping in mind for this month um it's kind of like the general guidance or the overall guidance here that is governing their reading um, it's going to be the energy that we kind of refer back to throughout this reading you know kind of the gentle reminder of this is what you need to remember no matter what's going on here remember this remember this guidance remember this advice all right so we're gonna get that I haven't actually shuffled the cart like for the Oracle card on any of the other signs I've done it you know off camera but I didn't do it this time so I guess I'm doing it on camera because um, usually I have to remind myself um, like the energy of the cart like you know I sit and I think about it for a little bit that's why I do it off camera um, so yeah, like you get a little bit of an insider of why I was doing it off camera um, because I wanted to think about it a bit I'm still gonna do that but I'm just gonna shuffle it on camera look at that you got me to open up Pisces <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't know what I'm talking about anymore jeez come on okay Pisces oh okay so we have no need to fear remember how powerful you are Okay, give me a moment. I'm going to think about this and then I'm going to come back to you. All right. So, no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. So, this, this card, this energy talks about the moment when Alice has been in the White Rabbit's house. And she's now like humongous Alice. Um... And she, I know in this deck, in the Alice in Wonderland deck, it is the tower card. I kind of spilled water, so whoops. A little wet. Oh, that didn't like. Mm. It's like wet over here because I spilled water. Oops, 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 oops. I'll get it for you anyways. It's this moment. Right? It's that moment when she is, let me put this here, when she's in the white rabbit's house and she is humongous here and the, she's like, oh shit, the white rabbit's back, he's gonna kill me. No, she didn't think that, but you know, that's the feeling. She's like, oh no, he's back, he's gonna kill me. And, but the thing is, she's forgotten that she's like fucking humongous. She's like a hundred times bigger than the white rabbit. She really has nothing to fear, you know? She she could overpower him, like, even when she's regular size Alice, she could fucking overpower him. But, you know, she, she sees him as somebody who has authority, you know? Somebody who is, you know, ha is more powerful than her, and out of habit, she's just fearful, because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, he it's his house, you know, he's whatever, older than me, he's a quote, adult, or whatever, and I think I, you know, I, I I, I have to be afraid I'm in trouble because I'm gonna get in trouble what spirit wants you to wants to remind you Pisces is that you know you don't need to be afraid <laughs> you don't need to be afraid of what's going on this month um, you don't need to feel intimidated you don't need to worry or be so doubtful especially about yourself I feel like this is a lot about yourself that you may be feeling inadequate you may be feeling like you can't do something that you don't have the abilities that you don't have the talent to do something um, but spirit here is to remind you that you do have the inner strength you do have the confidence in yourself you do have the talent you do have the ability to to be assertive and you know to not be afraid um, 
and I feel like you know this. I feel like the thing is, it's like it's it's kind of fear is irrational, right? And I feel like spirit knows that you know rationally um, that you shouldn't be afraid. You know that there is no reason to actually be afraid. But it might be, you know, something from your past or just kind of out of habit where you're just kind of afraid. Like with Alice, you know, she out of habit since she's a child and, you know, when something goes wrong, she's just afraid that she's going to get blamed for it. And that's, you know, kind of what I feel like maybe you're you're used to getting blamed for things and, you know, the blame being put on you. And it's just kind of habit that you're like, oh, shit, you know, they're going to blame me again. It's always my fault. And you know, you're afraid of that. You're afraid that, you know, it's just going to happen again. And, you know, you're the one that kind of gets the punishment here. Um, it's like, because that's, you know, that's what's happened before. You're just kind of used to it. You know, it's just habit for you. But, you know, spirit, again, wants to remind you that you have more influence on the situation than you think that you do that you have you know your your abilities your strength your your I mean you're you're smart and you know you're determined and your determination and you know your your bravery and all that like you like you are fully capable of standing up for yourself um and you are not less than um, whatever you're afraid of. You know, you are an equal in this, especially if it's a relationship. If this has to do with a relationship, it's like, you know, it is an equal partnership. You're, you are not the one that should be like, oh, you know what? It's always my fault. I always fuck up. You know, I'm just going to take the punishment. It's like, well, no, I mean, that's not fair. And I feel like you even think that that's not reasonable as well. So I feel like spirit just wants you to be more confident in yourself, not being afraid of a situation, not being afraid of somebody else, especially don't be afraid of somebody else, that you are stronger than you think. The thing is, I think that you know this. I think you know how strong you are. It's just, I, I feel it's more of a habit. It's more out of habit that you tend to, at least in this energy, for whatever the circumstance here is, that you just tend to be, you, sh you tend to shy away from something here out of habit because, you know, you're just afraid um, out of habit, even though you know there's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, it, it's kind of that feeling of when you know you have to um, stand in front of a lot of people and like make a speech or something, but like, let's say the people that you're, you're standing in front of and talking in front of, you know that they're all there to support you. You know, they're, they're very supportive of you, that they're not going to laugh at you or anything, but yet you're still afraid to get up there and say something um, despite this. And it, it's like that energy, you know, find that inner courage, that inner strength within you, because you know you can do this. You know there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, so, you know, just, you know, do it. Okay, that's the energy that we're going to keep in mind here um, throughout this reading. Ah, that is so freaky looking. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's weird looking. I just want to like cover it. I don't like it. Here, I'm just going to cover it with the dice because I just, I don't like it. It freaks me out. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's see what the incoming energies are here for you for this month, Pisces. So what's the incoming energies for Pisces this month? What does spirit want you to know? Want you to be aware of? Apparently my bad shuffling.
Okay. So let's see what we got here. Two of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands in reverse. Transformation. That's very interesting that it came out here. The Tower in reverse. The Hierophant. The Sun. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Magician. Sorry. This card is very wet. It is the Fool. And I'm going to leave it out because I want it to dry. <laughs> um, but it is quite wet. I don't like how it is. Because that's my bad. My bad. So I, it is going to be here. I mean, we can think about this and all that, but I do want it to dry. So I'm just going to put it somewhere so it can dry. All right. Bottom energy, we have the strength card in reverse and the king of cups. Okay. Pisces. Um, okay, so overall energy here for you. Yes, this has to do, this is a confidence issue here. Um, I feel like you keep your feelings inside um, because you're afraid to let loose. That's, that's the overall energy here for you um, in the, you know, for the next month here. Uh, yeah, I mean, simple as that. So what's going on here in the energy, the incoming energy? Well, things are changing here for you. Definitely. There is change here. It's very positive change here with the sun. You know, I feel like this is good change. This is good change. There are things that you've learned. This could also be, um, something institutional. This could be um, going into something long term. This can be starting a career. This could be going, you know, starting school or going into school, but like, you know, long term school, like postgraduate or something like that. Um, this can be going into a long term commitment. This can be marriage. It can be a lot of that. Uh, the Seven of Wands. In reverse, this can be about letting your guard down here. So letting your guard down, going into something here that's very happy and joyful. This, you know, this feels like a marriage or like or a long term commitment. Like, you know, when you have the talk with somebody and you're like, okay, you know, we're in this, we're in this for a while. We are, um, whatever, exclusive or whatever you want to call it, whatever label, um, or going into something long term here. It is something long term here. It's something that you, it, it can be work here with the three of pentacles, or it can be something that you worked on together, that you're building something up here with somebody else together um, here. I do feel that there is an equal give and take here. This can be a new relationship, a new love, something that's new here. I, you know, this all seems very positive. That's the thing. I'm seeing a lot of positive here. I, I, I do see, um, there's an energy of somebody here who is trying to manipulate things a little bit because there is an energy here of being scared that everything is just going to go to shit. Not, nothing has gone to shit yet. This is just a fear of, oh my gosh, you know, I don't want to go to shit. And I feel like this is your energy here because you, you're trying to keep things, um, why is this popping my head? Keep things Gucci. Uh, you're trying to keep things like very neutral here. Um, you don't want to over exert your emotions in this situation. It almost feels like things are going really well, but they're, you, you, you know, in your mind, you're like, things are going too well. What's the catch here? Something has got to give here. I'm afraid that something is going to mess something up here. Like, I'm afraid that it's all going to be like all fucked up and messed up here, but it all looks pretty good here. Um, but we are going to clarify. So I'm first, let's see what's going on with some of this. You know, the fool is here and it is drying and all that, but you know, fool is a new beginning. I do feel that a lot of this energy with the Ace of Cups here, it's all very new. And with um, transformation here, something like this is something in your life that is changing. Um, there is a, there is a change happening here in your life um, for the better. I do feel it's for the better, um, but let's see here.
There's no need to be afraid. I'm going to say that now. I feel this is very positive that whatever is the incoming energy here for you in the next month, like Pisces, like I'm jealous, but <laughs> because this, this, there is no need to be afraid of any of this from what I see right now. I mean, I could change, but I doubt it. No, there is nothing to be afraid of, dude. Ah, oh, I'm so jealous of you right now. Oh, you have no idea how jealous I am of you right now, of this energy. Ah, uh, things that are changing here for you. Some new, this is a new relationship. If this has, and it probably does have to do with connection. This is a new relationship with somebody who you're so attracted to. This person is like, this person is very charming. Mm, yeah, this person is very charming, very attractive. Um, and this person has gotten their shit figured out to an extent okay um this person is very honest you know here with you they're very open they're very honest here they you know i mean there's still some demons that can be around but they've exercised most of their demons here you know they've come back around this can be somebody who you may have you know cast you aside before or like somebody that may have left before um it could be physically have left like maybe somebody who moved away who's now coming back who's moved back um it can be that as well that can be the change or this can be you this can be you maybe you moved away for a bit um whatever away from home and now you're coming back home and coming back home this is a big change for you and but this change it can be because you you know you you're in a new relationship you know i feel some of this energy and this this is a very specific energy so this is not going to apply to a lot of people but it does feel like your relationship here it's like been taken to the next level it's gotten more serious and it's like i'm in it for the long term here it can be a marriage or a marriage proposal or something along those lines here you know a sort of new chapter here in this relationship in this love that things have changed here because it almost feels like it's like i have to go back home or you're returning back home somewhere with this new person so perhaps maybe you were working abroad or you were going to school abroad and you met somebody and now you're coming back home and this person's coming with you to live with you that is very specific so yeah that part that, that is just, yeah but i mean um regardless of that it i mean there's something that's returning here that is where the change is coming from you know something that's coming back around again that is where the change is coming from because there's a new relationship here with somebody who is very charming and very attractive and somebody who knows what they want okay I want to know more. It's gonna make me shuffle a thousand years, thank you. <laughs> The higher event with the higher event in reverse. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So there's a bit of a conflict here about things getting serious here. I feel that conflict is, you know, for you, you're in your head, you're wondering, you know, am I doing the right thing? Is this moving too fast? And you don't want to make, you don't want to do something that you're going to regret. So, like I said, this feels like this change. This something. This is something that has happened quite quickly, quite quickly, and you're not entirely sure if, you know, if the, if this if the shit should be going this fast here. Okay, so in those who have maybe got engaged or are getting married, I feel like this. The, there is a lot of indications here with the Ace of Cups that this is something that happened not that long ago. You know, this is quite new here, and. Um, yeah, there, there is some, I wouldn't call them doubts, but it's like you're in your head. You, you've been thinking a lot about, is this moving too fast? Am I going to regret this? 
That is where this, this is. Listen to spirit, listen to your intuition. I'm not telling you how to feel or anything like that, but listen to your gut. And you know, spirit here is to remind you there's nothing to be afraid of if you know you have that strength within you. Okay, so there's a lot of worries here. Um, there's a lot of worries that you're going to fuck this up um, here because there are things that you know about the situation here that really worry you. That There's things that you know about the connection here that are concerning to you. Um, that yeah, you've thought a lot about this. There could be some sort of red flags here, um, possibly here. There's a bit of like you're wondering, are there? You know, is this the right choice? Am I making the right choice here? Is the right option here? Um, but there are things. There are definite worries that you have that you are aware of. Um, and so you don't want to fuck things up and i feel like this has to do with your life you don't want to fuck up your life or things around your life here because it's like you feel like things are going too well like i said with temperance here you're like okay things are going really well right now and i don't want anything bad to happen here um yeah i mean that's basically what this is i mean that's all those that whole energy is Things are going very well and I'm afraid that things are going too well and that something might happen here. Um, yeah, here. It's the same. You know, it's like, is this too good to be true? Because I feel you, you are in this space of like this, this, it's happening very fast for you. This transformation, all of this is happening very fast and you're like, this is like too good to be true here. It's like out of a fucking fairy tale or out of like a movie or something here. I feel like you work very well with this person, whoever this person is. And I feel that's where you're like, okay, so what's the catch here? Yeah, I saw the lovers. The lovers just like flew out. Um, yeah, you're wondering like, what's the catch here? You know, like you work very well with this person. You're you're on the same page. You know, things are very equal here um, in this new connection, and it's just going by so fast. It's like before you even knew it, you know, things were serious, and you're like, wow, this just seems too good to be true. This person brings out the best in you. Um, yeah, you know, you're very aware. You're very aware. This person wish fulfillment all across the board here. But here's the thing. This isn't the direction that you thought your life was going in. Yeah, and that concerns you. It concerns you how much this person has basically um, brought your guard down, brought your walls down here. Mm. And you don't tell them this. You haven't really shared this with them. Um, not really. Um, but yeah, this, this, this person, this whole energy here, is not the direction that you saw your life going in but yet you know it's kind of like you know but it feels so good kind of thing and that's why that's where the fear is because i you know what you there for some people here i feel like pisces there are some people that you never thought you would be in a serious relationship like this like that was never like that was never the plan um you never thought that you would be that you would be in this you know situation here and yet here you are but you know it's working out and then you're just kind of like well it seems too good to be true so where's the catch what's the catch here um let's get so i'm gonna get some potential outcome here before we move on to the next 
part of this reading. This is very interesting. I like when they're positive. Most of the time they're not, but then something comes out because it's all about growing, right? That's why all, a lot of the readings seem quite negative because it's all about learning things and growing. I've come to realize that I'm not going to get happy rainbow and sunshine readings because everybody needs something to grow with. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching tarot. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, which kind of sucks for me because I would, I would love to just give good news all the time, but it's not predictions. It's just reading energy. And most of the time people who are watching tarot readings, their energy isn't all super positive. But you know, this isn't bad because your energy here at Pisces is I'm afraid that things are too good. And I'm just here to tell you that don't be afraid. This looks really good. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw something that made me laugh. Uh, that positive energy. Don't be afraid of it. Dude, dude. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, the fool. Ooh, the devil's showing up here gotta have some shade there is some shade there's always some shade here always some shade so we have the seven of coins the six of swords and the, okay the queen of coins in reverse don't drive yourself crazy you will drive yourself crazy and the queen of cups so overall there's a lot of emotions here a lot of love here um okay you do have the potential here pisces to because this isn't the direction that you thought that your life was going, you do have the, it's like, okay, I didn't, this isn't, like, you, you do feel like you don't have much control here because it almost sometimes might feel, it might feel like things like fate is driving, you know, things that are going on here that you don't really have a lot of control here um, with when it comes to how you feel, which usually is the case really you know when you when you when you feel that love it's like you can't control it it's like it just comes it just comes out of nowhere sometimes and you, it makes you feel like you don't have any control so that you know is your overall energy here the potential outcome here is this is a new beginning this is a new beginning here with the six of swords for you 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 have left a past situation there's some prior situation i i am I don't know, but I feel like when I go and dig into that past person, I'm going to find what that situation was because there was something here. There was something in the past. I don't know if it's in the past, but I said that for a reason. There was a situation here that you needed to get away from, that you needed to take some time away from, get some distance between you and that situation to see things clearly. And that is where this new beginning is coming from, the fool. Um, this is this is you starting over again here starting over to find your happiness and You did you did find your happiness here and the thing is it didn't take very long It did not take very long and I think that's what is what is concerning you And I think that is you can get into your head about this about this is moving really fast I don't know where this came from and you can totally get in your head about this and drive yourself crazy Here and I do feel that will happen a little bit here um, in the current energy because the current energy is you're wondering this is too good to be true It's moving quite fast. I don't know where this came from and Yeah, I mean you can drive yourself crazy um, Just because you don't feel in control of your emotions you it's like suddenly falling in love and you're like, but I never thought I would be a person that would fall in love and now like I'm in the situation here and you know, I've only known this person like three months and or two months because i said that right i've only known this person for two months and things are moving very fast and things are moving very fast and very serious and you know it feels too good to be true um okay so that this is what spirit wants you to know this is the incoming energy for the month of what spirit wants you to know so i'm going to clean this up and then we're going to find out about the past person okay all right okay so um the second part of this reading is we're going to look into the energies of you and a past person. So like I said before, this is somebody who you have history with. Uh, most likely this is the person that you're thinking of, the person that's on your mind, the person whose energy is attached to you. Uh, we're going to see what your incoming energy is like 
excuse me, towards them, their incoming energy towards you, any and, and how that affects the connection here in the current energies. But first, we are going to get an overall energy of the connection between you and this person in the current energies for this month. So basically, this is like what's going on right now. What's going on right now in this connection overall? Sort of. It's a bit of a state of the connection, a little bit. So Pisces and this past person. Uh, this person might have been somebody who you were married to or a long-term relationship because I saw a wedding. over here heart to heart conversations uh, says honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay so right now I feel like you may be having some serious conversations with this person um, well in the current energy um, there's energy of having serious conversations with this person and I'm trying to cover up the weird looking fish <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if these are positive or negative conversations I don't know if they're useful or helpful or you know what but you are it does seem I'm not gonna lie I'm I am drawn to his face there and he does not really look that amused I'll be honest um, she looks like she's more into the conversation than he is so I feel like this may be one person is wanting to kind of hash things out clear the air and the other person might be a little bit resistant to that um okay so let's see what is the energy here what is your incoming energy their incoming energy and how this affects the connection Let's see. Uh, six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Sun, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So yes, I do feel like you're the one who wants to talk here. You want to make things very clear with this person here. It feels like there's something here that is not very balanced here. Um, there, it perhaps is one-sided. I again, I, it does feel like you're the one who wants to have the conversation, Pisces. You want to have the conversation about what's wrong with this connection here what's wrong here in this connection you know this or what went wrong or you know this about the separation here because it this does feel like there's a separation here it does feel like you want things to be clear you are the person here you're the one you're you're this person here you want to talk about things okay their energy Five, yeah, five of pentacles, four of pentacles, ten of wands. This person is not cooperating with you. Now, it's minor arcana, but yeah, this person is, they are keeping things to themselves. They are like a fucking vault. This person is a vault. They're running away, and that is, you know, that's causing problems here for you. Now, like I said, it does feel like this person, you and them, while I was, you know, getting this energy that there is some sort of long-term commitment there it's possible like i am getting in like one specific story that you may be have been married to this person and then with that new energy that's coming in it's like you might need to talk to this person and get a proper divorce here um so you know you can be properly separated here because it does seem like you want to talk about a separation here so it can be an actual separation you know in a legal sense now I'm not a lawyer or anything like that but it does there is that energy as well that this 
it's it's causing you it's causing all sorts of problems and issues here this person i feel is overwhelmed by what's going on here they're overwhelmed by the truth and honesty that is coming out here so they shut down this person is shutting down it's like it's like you know sticking your fingers in your ear and going la, 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 la. like i don't want to hear it this person doesn't want to have a conversation here they just don't want to hear it but yeah you're feeling like we need to have this conversation things need to be out in the open here um, but you feel like you're talking to a wall. Like it's just you that's here talking about this. So much time and effort, dude. Three of uh, three of pentacles, the tower in reverse, and the four of wands in reverse. Yeah. So this is how it's affecting the connection. I don't feel like things have... I, it's not you know you're trying to prevent the worst that's going to happen here i feel like you're trying to be an adult here and you're trying to talk to this person and you're trying to have an adult conversation here because you don't want this to get messy um you're trying to work together with this person you're trying to get on the same page with them and i feel like this person actually does understand what's going on here they're just shutting down and they're not telling you they're not cooperating well, I shouldn't say they're not cooperating. They're just shutting down. They're keeping things to themselves. They're basically wasting time, but they do understand what it is that you want here. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you both understand that this connection isn't working out. There are with the two of cups and the four of wands in reverse and with the 10 of wands in reverse in between here, I feel like this is a big problem here um, for your life you know this connection not working out here so what do we have here we have the five of wands with the five of cups there's a lot of conflict here a lot of conflict that's going on here um, there's a lot of emotions here okay and and I feel that that there's a lot of conflict here within these emotions this person um, it's not that they don't know how to feel and like it just feels like overall this is a complicated excuse me situation that's going on here um where i feel like the two of you don't see eye to eye again like i'm just feeling like this is like a divorce it feels like that it, it has very strong energy oops sorry for dropping a card there's a very sorry there's a very strong energy here of you know one person wanting to walk away one person wanting to do this um maturely in a mature manner here um but you know the other person isn't really seeing it that way i don't really know if this person wants to stay in this relationship um it just feels like they're unwilling to deal with it does that make sense they don't want to deal with it right now for whatever reason but we are going to clarify some of this so let's clarify actually okay I was gonna clarify something but then I've changed my mind I want to clarify something first else first so more shuffling. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you want to talk about this. Um, you, you want to kind of get out there, um, what you want to say about the situation here because you've seen things you you have a new perspective here and you do want to work together with this person here um yeah i feel like you're trying to take the lead in the situation here you're trying to take the lead because you guys haven't been talking or you know your the way that you talk or in the connection the way you socialize you know it's like you feel like you have to take the lead like you have to be the one that contacts this person that you have to be the one that con starts the conversation here 
um, because you know if you don't then nothing's gonna work out you know you're not gonna work together that's what you've realized here you've realized if you don't if you don't start the conversation here they're not going to start it so if you want something out of this then you're gonna be the one that has to say something okay that makes sense falls like okay oh okay um yeah this person you, you feel like you're the only person here that's sharing how they feel that this other person isn't sharing how they feel and I mean, it feels like there's something in the past here that, you know, there's a lot of burdens here. There's a lot of problems that were going on in the past here between you and this person that you never really figured out, that you weren't able to figure out. And that you do feel a sense of guilt over that. You do, it's like you wish that you were able to fix these problems with this person here. Um, but it's like, yeah, no, like, it just didn't work out. Like, it, yeah, I mean, there's just a, there's a certain amount of like, I'm sorry this didn't work out um, here. Yeah, okay. Let's see about this person here, because I'm, I'm, I've got kind of a clear idea of your energy, how you feel about this, but let's see about them. Interesting. So this person, they think that they know um, what's right here. Like they think that they, it's like they think that they know what's right here, but they're not, but they don't want to say, okay? So they think that they're right, but it's not you know they don't have all the information here it's all based off of emotions um so yeah they they're keeping like it's like uh they're shutting down in the sense like you know they're it's all up in the vault you know they've they've locked it all up inside because this sort of how would i put this they're struggling with the breakup okay they they're having a hard time with the breakup here they don't want to see what's going on here so they're trying to ignore it and it's kind of like well if i don't say anything about it then it didn't happen kind of thing or it's not happening um it's something along those lines here but you know over time they are you know if things are changing so as time moves on this person like they know they know they just don't want to know <laughs> But, you know, time will, you know, help things out here. You know, they just need some time to think. This person just needs some time to think about things. And, you know, the more they think about it, the more that they're going to come around again here. Um, Because they know what's right. Like, they, they just, you know, they just don't want to fully admit what's going on here. Um, it's hard for them. It's very difficult for them to, so they just kind of keep it all inside and the four of pentacles they can also be blocking you not you know responding to your calls not responding to your messages when you try to talk to them that's what it feels you're trying to talk to them they don't want to talk what was this again right uh, yeah okay i will
That was me talking to myself. I'm not talking to spirit or anything like that. That was me talking to myself if I'm like, do I want to check on this energy? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah. So just because I realized I said it out loud and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not talking like to, you know, I'm talking to myself, which I do often. I do often talk to myself. <laughs> Nothing in particular, though. Uh-huh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so this person, if they're not talking to you, and they feel, and you feel like they're shut, they, if you feel like this person is shutting you out, then you will be, then you are correct. This person is trying to shut you out. Um, the reason is, is that they, you know, they're taking this very hard. Um, if, if it doesn't seem like that to you, um, cause, cause it probably doesn't because they're keeping a lot of this inside. This person is taking this breakup because it feels like a breakup very hard. Um, they don't really want to do anything here um, because they think that there's nothing that they can do about the situation here because they see you, they see you moving on, they see that you're doing fine here and the more that they see like that you're doing fine and that you're moving on, the more it hurts them. And so that's why they, you know, they block you, they don't want to talk to you, you know, they are pushing you away and all that. Even though I know you're like, we need to talk about this they're not ready you know they need to process they need to heal a little bit here because they are they are taking this very hard i mean i mean that is their energy towards you they they are taking this separation here very hard i don't think they show it to you though they do understand i feel like with the three of pentacles here they do understand what's going on it's just hard for them. They need to process. They need some time here to process what's going on here and to heal. Like that's, you know, that's what this is. They, they need time here to process this because it's difficult, you know, it's difficult for them to go through. Um, so I guess, you know, I have a little bit more empathy here for them. I know you, I know there are things like I, maybe there's a time thing or something. There's something here like you're like, I need to talk to, I, we need to clear the air. I need to make sure you know these things. I'm here to tell you that they do know, okay? They do know. They do know that things aren't working out here. Um, they just, they really what's going on here is on their side, they want to avoid a blow up. Okay. So they need some time to process things on their own. Cause if they don't get that time, it's like, I'm going to explode here and it's not going to be good. It, you know, it's going to be really bad here. Like it's like burning bridges kind of bad here. Okay. Um, I really don't think there's anything else. Uh, okay, wait, uh, I'll, I'll clarify one more thing here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going back and forth in my mind. Very indecisive. I'm usually not that indecisive. I feel yes it's like trying to make the mature decision here we even have it's like trying to prevent disaster here this is like I'm trying to do the mature thing here both of you I'm trying to do the mature here this is the choice that I'm going to make I don't want to ruin everything here in this connection um, <laughs> because you know just because it's the end you know doesn't mean you don't realize that there are things that you need to keep to yourself that are very emotional here that's literally i just read a sentence for you okay <laughs> that, that, i mean that's literally what's going on here you know just because this is the end doesn't mean we need to dump all our emotions on each other and you know make things kind of worse okay so let's get some more i'm gonna see what how this person feels towards you in the current energy, what is this person feeling towards you? Pisces. I am 
have no idea which way those go. Ah, I actually don't know. Okay, no, try again. Because I, I have absolutely no idea. See, it spins, spins. There's a bit of an indecisiveness, I feel. Uh, page of swords, two of coins in reverse, five of coins in reverse, queen of wands, three of coins in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse, the chariot. The, okay, wanted to go that way, the devil. Okay, see, look, see, it comes out and it tells me how it wanted to come out. Devil, upright, ten of wands in reverse, ten of swords. Um, this person's in a lot of pain. Which I already told you that anyways, um, but it's just here. Their overall energy is this person's in, this person is suffering. They are getting over it. They will get over it, but you know, right now there is no sunshine. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's how they feel. Um, their feelings towards you, they, uh, there's a lot here. Um, they, as much as that they're like shutting you out, I feel like they don't want to shut you out completely, but because they feel like that would be a mistake. I feel like this person doesn't want you completely out of their life. Um, they feel like that would be a mistake here, but they just feel like, you know, unfortunate things have happened here and that it's not entirely your fault. It's not entirely their fault here. It just didn't work out. You guys just weren't able to work it out here um there is a there is a bit of a sense here that this person feels they still feel kind of attracted to you they still have they still are attracted to you here they are still tempted by you here um they you know they do want to come towards you in that way i don't see like in like love emotions here but i do see passion and desire here they do desire you here but they know that that wouldn't be a good thing to do here so like they do find you quite attractive here if, you know if you're wondering but um they're, they're mostly kind of in pain and and not very happy and feeling very overwhelmed by this whole thing okay so what is this person's current intentions towards you basically um are they pissed off about things like you know, do they want revenge are they resentful are they vindictive i don't know let's see what is this person in the current energy what are their current intentions towards you i don't think that they are um the energy i'm getting mostly is that they're hurt that they are sad but let's see what are their current intentions towards you pisces in the current energies um some of the cups in reverse the emperor oh maybe they are a bit pissed off ten of cups the tower the temperance in reverse see three of swords oh five of swords okay maybe they are a little vindictive knight of wands knight of swords king of swords. okay this person isn't really thinking clearly right now um, with the king of swords in reverse so i feel like um my advice to you would be give this person some space um, this person needs space right now because I'm going to tell you their intentions right now, they're not entirely pure. They are kind of pissed off that this didn't work out here. There is a lot of energy of, yeah, they're not thinking straight. They're not thinking straight. There's the tower, there's temperance in reverse, there's the emperor in reverse, there's the five of swords. And then you have these two knights of this is like wanting to say something, wanting to do something. I, yeah, I would, um, I would give this person some space, definitely. Um, cause right now their intentions are not very good towards you and it's all because they're heartbroken. Okay. I mean, this is somebody who they feel upset. They feel very heartbroken that this didn't work out. See time and time again, I'm getting the 10 of cups in reverse. I'm getting the three of swords. I mean, the whole reading is telling me that this person is hurt. Um, so yes, this person is not, does not, ha is not keeping their cool right now here with the Emperor in reverse, Temperance in reverse. We have the tower. This person is ready to explode here and do things that they're going to regret and that aren't very nice here 
So yes, I would definitely keep my distance from this person for the time being. Give them some space. They need that space. Remember, they need time to, to think about things. So give it to them. Don't just give them time, honestly, because like at least for this month, this person needs some space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 they do. Okay, what's the potential outcome here? In the current energies with this person? In the current energies, you know, if nothing really changes, what is the potential? Well, if nothing changes here, what is the potential outcome between you and this person, Pisces? coins, ace of cups in reverse, king of coins in reverse, six of wands in reverse, justice in reverse, the high priestess and the page of cups in reverse, the ace of swords in reverse. So, okay, the potential outcome here, your overall energy, I feel like you, you may have a bit of an emotional outburst here because something is going to confuse you. Like, it's like, it's like, okay, I thought that this was like the way it was going, but like, why? I don't understand. Like, that's kind of the energy here. Um, it's going to be a little bit immature of you. I don't really know why. Yeah, you just kind of let go of yourself, you know, strength in reverse. You have a moment of weakness here where you kind of have a bit of an emotional outburst here. I'm getting the, the sense, Pisces, that it's like, it almost feels like, because you know, I've felt this before, like it, it feels like for you right now, it's not that you're okay that things have ended here. It's, it's that you really haven't let yourself sort of grieve the relationship. You're, you're kind of like focused on wanting to sort of make sure that, you know, the truth is out there. <laughs> I think X-Files, but you want to make sure that this person, you know, is clear at what's happening and what's going on. And that is your focus. But I feel like as soon as you kind of realize that this, you know, that this person is actually very hurt about this and that things are over and it's done, you know, that's what's going to hit you. It's going to hit you when, you know, when you're feeling kind of lonely about this, when, you know, perhaps when you realize that this person maybe, because I feel like this was something long term when they're is no emotions coming out like I like the emotions are coming out but you know they're not the way that they used to be it's not it's not the the balance of emotions where you love them they love you it's not that and that is where I feel you're going to have a moment of weakness and get kind of emotional um, about the situation here because it's like realizing almost that well not realizing but like it's like you you put a lot of time into this connection. There was a lot of time and, and energy that was put into the connection and it didn't work out. You know, and this all feels very normal. You know, it feels very normal to be at that place where, you know, right now you you you're not you haven't really processed what has gone on because you're so focused on other things uh, i i'm relating it more to um because the way i feel it is how i felt how i feel when people pass away in my life um that feeling like it's not that it's not real like you know what happened and you know what's going on but there isn't that sort of finality to it and then once like you kind of have the like the funeral and you know you go through that whole process um of the day i mean that's when it like it hits you you know and it can hit you with other things like you know birthdays holidays things like that things that you know, like you realize are different and that they're not the same and it's like but like before it's like you knew you knew that it was over you knew that they were gone but it hadn't quite hit you yet and i feel for you pisces you are going to get that hit here 
um, when you know your emotions are going to come out and you're going to realize it's not the same it's not the same anymore and you know it is going to cause you a bit of instability here with the king of coins in reverse this is somebody who's usually very put together very successful and you're just going to get a little frazzled here it's going to frazzle you and you're just going to keep this to yourself i don't feel like you're going to really let on to anybody that this is how you're feeling um this is just something it's like you're going to have like a little cry for yourself um here about this connection i know that isn't really much about the potential outcome here because it doesn't really say much about them but i feel you know it, it kind of can go both ways you know this person may also be feeling this as well because they need some time to process and think about what has happened and this connection and they may also you know at, you know roles can be reversed here they may also be feeling the exact same way as well so okay so that is the past person here pisces not very positive it's very uh, you know it's tragic i you know i don't know what happened i don't i don't know why things didn't work out here i mean it's very normal to me but the yeah it's not um it's not fun energy that's for sure so i'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna move on to the third part of the reading all right so we are going to move on to the new energy so this like i explained earlier this is incoming new energy for you pisces i feel like this is the energy that we saw at the beginning of the reading the first part of the reading that ace of cups that new those new emotions that new love i feel is this person's energy so um you probably have met them already very likely uh, I mean, it can be somebody who you you haven't met yet, but um, it's very likely that you have met this person. Um, this person you don't have a lot of history with. This is somebody who you've met very recently, um, within the last like two months, I would say. It's interesting because of your first part of the reading, seem things seem to move very quickly, but very quickly, very serious. Um, and it's all just kind of this whirlwind of a sort of romantic um, fantasy playing out here that you're thinking this is too good to be true. So we're going to find more about this connection. I'm very certain that's what's going. it's going to be about them. Because it wouldn't make sense um, for it to be a whole different new energy that's incoming here when Spirit showed us um, all of that at the beginning of the reading. Like I said, this is a three-in-one reading. It's not three separate readings. It's three parts to one reading. So I would say that's very likely what's going to happen here. So let's see what the general... Um, energy in the current energy is between you and this new energy this new person what is the energy between the two of you right now in this current energy saw one card flip in my hand I'll talk about it in a second it's taking a while though jeez although this this deck is notorious for me at least to take a while okay stay optimistic dude 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 stay optimistic about your love life we have positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so we have the you don't need to fear anything and there's a lot of you know energy in that first part where you you know you're afraid there was a bit of a fear of you know is this too good to be true well spirit here is telling you you need to stay optimistic about this you know positive vibes because negative energy feeds negative energy you know, it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you start thinking negatively about a connection and think, oh no, this isn't going to work. Oh, it's moving too fast. Oh, it's too good to be true. I don't deserve this, blah, 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 blah. Then it starts to become a self-fulfilling prophecy here. The other energy that I saw that I was going to speak on later, and it's now later, 
um, was worth waiting for. This is a connection that the universe has lined up for you. And this is a connection that is, you know, has been worth the wait. Um, so yes, all these feelings of, is this really happening? Yes, it's happening because you've been waiting for this. I feel like this is a person that you have kind of imagined coming into your life. And when they, ha when they do come into your life, it's like, where did this person come from? Like, this is somebody who I've wanted to be in my life for a while. And, you know, it, it, it's like now they're here. And uh, now it's like, this is too good to be true. So, all right, let's see what the incoming energy is like for you towards this new person, this new energy, their energy towards you. And how is that affecting the connection between the two of you? Dude, I gotta say, my fucking shuffling is on point today. I had, like, I had a bit of a rocky start. Okay, now that I've said that, <laughs> I've had a bit of a rocky start at the beginning, but, like, since then, okay, I've, I've jinxed it. I've jinxed it. No. Oh, I've jinxed it. One more. We're gonna be shutting up about it. There. See, I have to shut up about it. I, clearly, I can't talk and shuffle at the same time. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, see? Two cups in upright. Two of uh, cups, page of swords, five of wands. You are thinking too much about this. Uh, yeah. Um... Your energy towards this person is you you have a lot of energy towards them, okay? You 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 go towards them, you say a lot of things to this person, but it's like you don't really know where to put your focus. Like you don't know where to focus your energy when it comes to this connection and that, you know, gets you all in your head here. You you not like in your head, but you get very um it causes conflict here um here I, I feel like it's with you and with your person but it's mostly with yourself it's like you beat yourself up basically it's like you put your foot in your mouth a lot when it comes to this connection here because like you want to say a lot of things and but it's like you don't really have a focus that's where all that shit's coming from at the beginning of this reading and even like throughout this entire reading remember i was explaining when i was trying to explain what this reading was and like normally it's like a b c but i was going a c and then back to a and then b and then to c and then to a like i was jumping all over the place i'm like what the fuck is up with that that's how you communicate with this person a little bit like this is your incoming energy you jump all over the place when you communicate with this person <laughs> and i you i feel like you beat yourself up for it you, you know you beat yourself up for the way that you communicate with this person it's like you can't make coherent sentences or at least that's how you feel <laughs> when it comes to this connection okay their incoming energy towards you okay we have the tower five of pentacles in reverse and the knight of swords in reverse this is very interesting and i'm gonna have to clarify this because i actually don't really know what this is about it's very strange energy this person it almost feels like they're not pushing, like they are pushing you away, but they don't mean to push you away. It's like there's something going on here that... Uh, I don't know exactly what this is. This is why this stay optimistic is here, because of this energy here. This energy is very confusing. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about this person, so I'm going to have to clarify, but um, it does look to me like this person tries to push you away, but they're not actually, they don't actually want to push you away. Like, they don't, it's like, they don't actually want you to go away, um, but they're dealing with some shit in their life. There's a lot of shit that's going on around them. Um... It may have to do a bit with how serious the connection is getting, possibly. It may just have to do with the connection here. 
Um, I don't like, I'm not getting that it's super negative on you. Like, I don't feel like you did anything, okay? I don't feel like you're doing anything wrong here. Um, it's more on them. It's like they put their foot in their mouth. They said something or they did something um, that they, they did something without really thinking here. And I don't, and it's, it's something that they did that is in relation to this connection that they're like, I fucked up. Kind of. Like, here's a scenario, and this isn't what's happening, because I'm not fucking psychic, but I'm telling, I'm going to, I'm trying to explain the energy as best as I can. So let's say, um, somebody's, uh, you know, so let's say somebody's in a relationship, and, uh, the relationship is not going very well. Um, in fact, you know, it's pretty much over, um, but it's not officially over yet. And this person, um, kind of gets involved with somebody else before they have, you know, cut things off with the old relationship here. Um, so they do this, they do it without thinking because they're following whatever, their heart, their other head, whatever they're doing here. Um, and so, and they're kind of realizing like, I'm getting in too deep. So I have to push the per this the person, the new person away so that they can deal with the shit that they have done in their own life. That's like, that's the energy that I'm getting here. You know, take it as you like, apply it to, to how you will, because it's not going to be that exact situation here, but it feels something similar to that. It's nothing that you did, Pisces. It's like you became the other person, you know, the other woman, the other man here without really realizing it. And it, it's all this person's fault. <laughs> okay, so how is this affecting the connection here? Okay, yeah, okay. So you still have a new start here. The connection is, it's you know, this is new, um, new feelings, new emotions here. Uh, the Knight of Cups. I don't, I feel like you guys aren't really sharing how you feel. But there are feelings here. Um, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, we have the lovers or the pair in reverse and we have the eight of pentacles so i mean i feel like this is very new and i feel like that is where the energy here is stay optimistic about this there is a hiccup here and i feel like that is what spirit wants to talk about there is a hiccup here um you may be feeling like there is a miscommunication here in the connection and this is causing you know f wasting time things not really going you know like working out here um it's it's a feeling of like an overall energy that sorry i just want to get i just want to get my words in my head in the right order oh this page of swords energy is hard to deal with um So the communication here in this connection is not the best. In fact, it sucks. And that is why things aren't going as smoothly as they can be overall. Okay, that's what I want to say. It's a communication problem because you're all over the place in your communication. And this person is saying things that they really shouldn't be saying in this moment right now. I don't feel like they're sharing how they feel and you're not sharing how you feel about this. Um, right now in the current energy, it's not, you're not really like, it, it's just a fantasy right now. Like it's not, this connection hasn't, you know, gotten to a place where it is like a reliable, why is this like, um, it hasn't gotten to a place where it's like a reliable um, connection here, like a relationship. Like It's not official, basically. You're not officially together with this person. It's very new. Um, a very new connection here. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, yeah, I have to clarify. I have to clarify. But before I do that, I need a sip of water. Stay optimistic. We'll, we'll clarify. Uh. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, so I feel like your the way that you're kind of taking things right now where the way you're speaking I feel like the way you're communicating to this person is a little all over the place like you don't really have a focus and a direction part of this is because you're trying to play things very safe you don't want to say something that you're going to regret like you don't want to express feelings before you know bef you know before that you should you you know it's like it's like that stage in the in like the relationship where you like you want to say I love you but you're like I really shouldn't say it now like I or like you know along those lines like anything that is very like emotional and all that it's like it's like okay like you have the feelings you want to say these things but it's like no like I have to be very careful about my words about how I express how I feel it's like maybe you you want to tell them um you know more you want to express like more caring towards them um like you know how you, you just read you want to express how you feel you want to express like maybe you have you know, i mean there are deep emotions here so you want to express these deep emotions but it's like you're being very careful because you don't want to say something that you're going to regret and you know you're very consumed by wanting to make sure that this that this goes right you know you want success here you want victory here you might even ask this might have come from other people's advice you might have asked you know other people like what do i do and somebody else might have told you you know don't be too needy don't be too clingy don't you know tell them you know these things you're going to scare them off or whatever so you're very careful about how you talk but in that it's like you don't really know what you're saying and it gets a little scattered and you know it's very it can get really unfocused and and not very clear basically um so yeah there's a there's a problem in the communication it's not just on your end oh, we'll look at your person's end but you know this is for you and it, you know it's because you feel this connection you feel this connection with this person and then you like beat yourself up for you're like oh why did i say that oh i shouldn't have said it that way oh i should have said this oh i should have said that oh and like that's that's your energy right now in this connection towards you. you you're a little bit in your head but like it's not like too much but it's like you're being very careful about how you speak what did i say this was all right say that I do feel like this person puts on a little bit of a front when they talk that they don't say the entire truth like they give half truths like it feels like it's either they give half truths or like they don't lie they omit things sometimes like they don't say the whole truth here because I'm very drawn to this mask that's why I'm saying that yeah they're not very clear with their communication here they're aware of this. They do know that they could they could do better. <laughs> they they know that they could talk better here. Um uh, why do they do this? They are mm, Um, how would I put this? They, it's like they don't want to waste time here. They don't want to waste time here or they feel like they might be wasting time. There's something to do with wasting time here.
Like they, I feel like they have made sort of the connection here, um, the communication here suck more by this, um, by not being very clear here. There is a bit of like, they aren't very sure about how they feel. Like they're a little all over the place here. They're not very, Hmm. It feels a little bit like they're not super confident here on perhaps how you feel about them as well. Because they think about this a lot. Okay. I need to check something. I need to check something. I get this feeling that they think that it's their fault. So they've kind of pushed you away um, because they're like, I think I said something that I wasn't, I shouldn't have said. So yeah, you know, that whole thing where I was given the scenario, I was just trying to explain the energy. I don't think that's what's going on. I mean, it can be for some people, but it feels more like they said something that they shouldn't have said here. Um, maybe they, it can also be that they said too much about their feelings, that they were too much in their feels. Um, but they do feel like they made a mistake here. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Why is it so... This person is a little bit of a basket case right now. I, I know, it's like a whole bunch of cards. Like, I, I pulled out a whole bunch of cards because it's not super clear. That's why. I, was, I, I thought it would become clearer and clearer, but it's not. Um, this whole tower, this whole... Like, it, it feel they push you away because they feel like they've ruined something here with you. Um, by saying something that they... They said something that they didn't mean to say. Um, they're quite emotional about this like this person like all I can say is they're a bit of a basket case because they just like went whole, like like okay this is the incoming energy for the next month so this person kind of they feel like they said something that they shouldn't have said and they are so like afraid yeah look look ten of swords dude the fool in reverse like this person is like all in their emotions about this they you know they feel like they've ruined things here they are heartbroken here they're heartbroken here they're paralyzed um they feel that they said too much that they did too much here they don't really know like what to do they're trying to sort of weigh their options here so they're not really like talking here they're instead they're in their head and they're making a decision here um, cause you know, they kind of want to balance things out here. Mm okay. I'm going to leave it at that cause I'm going to find out more energies about this person later, but okay. Let's go with something more positive here. <laughs> So the Ace of Cups here, yeah, I feel that they're, they're, a cycle completed for both of you in both your lives. So in your life 
and in this person's life you know something ended and this is a new cycle this is a new beginning for the both of you a new beginning for a relationship a new beginning of having these feelings feeling you know these feelings because I feel you are attracted to each other you know you want to start something here with each other here you feel very drawn to each other like there like you feel like this person is somebody that I can move forward with and I can be with this person here um, I do feel that there's some miscommunication here but you know you're not gonna give up that's not that's not gonna stop you that's not gonna stop either one of you here because ace of cups because you have feelings there are deep emotions here so even if things don't kind of go well communication wise you know here or there's a bit of a separation here um i do feel like you know you guys are going to stand your ground here um because you know there are feelings here you want to go forward with this okay enough of this <laughs> enough of this let's see how this person feels towards you in the current energy how does this person feel towards pisces how are they feeling towards you okay we have the six of swords <laughs> that doesn't surprise me page of coins three of wands death in reverse we have five of coins in reverse knight of cups in reverse justice in reverse nine of swords in reverse and the queen of cups and the empress in reverse this all does not surprise me because this is exactly the energy that i saw here um so their overall energy this person is shut down okay they've shut down here but here's the thing they've they've pushed you away but they don't really want to push you away they have a lot of feelings for you there's a lot of love here they're trying to figure things out you know they know what they should do here um they are trying to they they do watch you and keep an eye on things here but they have put a little bit of a distance between you but they don't want this to be over they feel like you know i don't want this to be over here they do think that it's all it's all their fault they do blame themselves a lot this justice card it is a card of karma and they feel like they have done something here and that they're like it's all me it's like my bad it's my fault um that's what i get from that so yeah they do feel like whatever's going on here like they've pushed you away they have put some distance here they have feelings here for you but they feel like okay this is i think i need to do this but they do keep an eye on you and they don't want this to be over but they, it's like it's all my fault okay <laughs> what are their intentions toward you what is this person's intentions towards you in the current energy Knight of Swords, a Magician, Hanged Man in Reverse. Ah, I saw this. Strength in Reverse. I was going to say something, but since it's here, it's here. Knight of Wands in Reverse, the Chariot, the World, Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. This is stuck in the deck. That's Seven of Wands and the King of Wands in Reverse. Um, Their intentions. There's a lot of people here. I mean, they, they do want to move forward here towards you. They're not going to hold back. They do want to fight for this. I mean, there's they, they want to fight for this. They want to move towards you. They're not going to hold back. They are definitely going to say something here to you with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. They definitely want to talk here. Um, give them a little bit of time here for them to figure shit out. Um, and, you know, they do want everything here with you. They do want to complete a cycle here with you. So they do want it all here with you. Just hold, just just hang tight a little bit. This they might be a little slow with the Knight of Wands and the Hanged Man in reverse. Um, they, it's like they 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 they're not gonna do anything for a little bit here. 
Um, but once they kind of figure their shit out, once they make a plan and they figure out what they want to do, then they're coming, they're going to come straight for you. They're going to come right towards you here because, you know, right now this current energy is they're really frustrated that things have not really gone the way that they want it to go. And so they are going to rectify that here in some way. Like they haven't given up. Like, no, uh, they just... I just get this energy that they're like, fuck, I shouldn't have said that. I fucked up. It's my fault. But this person, like, like you think you beat yourself up for the things that you say? Man, this person, like, completely, like, this person just feels almost like, I would say, humiliated. I don't know what they said or what they did, but they just, they are taking it on themselves that it's my fault. I did something really bad I don't know what they did I don't know if they did if they actually did something really bad but they're taking it on themselves but I do feel like they are they do want to talk to you they will talk to you they their intentions are to come towards you they just have to figure something out they have to figure some shit out on their side but they they don't feel um they don't they don't feel good and they you know about what's going on here and they do intend to kind of come here and explain things they they will explain to you what happened i feel that very strongly here that they this person will come towards you eventually eventually and explain um what's going on so that you know keep with this this the theme here stay optimistic positive thoughts let's see what the potential outcome here uh, if nothing really if nothing changes in the energy here um the current energy what's the potential outcome here between you and this person okay that was fast Ooh, ten of cups i like it Ooh, nine of cups i like it okay the devil <laughs> again it's the same spot is this you again uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see oh two of cups yes yes get it okay nine of swords star this is you this is your fucking energy again you getting in your head stop it pisces stop it eight of cups in reverse four of coins okay so overall energy here there um even if you wanted to walk away from this you can't you're already you're too emotionally involved in this like i said i mean it's all on it's underneath here but all those these these ace of cups here um and and from before i mean there's four ace of cups right because we, we count the first reading and then this reading there's two there's two there two here you know there's so many there's so many deep feelings here so many deep new feelings here new relationship here you know even if you wanted to walk away from this you can't you can't walk away from this um you know even it's like you want you want to protect this you're fighting for this even if you wanted to you, you can't you're, you're in too deep that's what i'm gonna say you are in too deep in this connection here so what's the potential outcome here well i feel that you know things here i wouldn't say they're gonna work out but like but yes but it's like there is um you are going to be satisfied here with how things go even if you don't think you know even even if you're not very um what's what's the word um like even if it doesn't make sense to you it's almost like you're you're almost like giving in you're almost like surrendering to the temptation here like you know you're surrendering here going you know what it doesn't make any sense to me i don't understand why this person is here you know i don't understand you know why everything seems so great here um but you know i'm just gonna go with it and you're gonna go with it and we have the ten of cups and the two of cups dude this is you know you're going to feel great you're going to be happy in this connection this connection is going to bring happiness for you there's a reconciliation here a reconcil you're going to come together with this person you know they're going to apologize because i told you this person is going to come towards you and they're going to explain to you what happened so something's going to happen. They're going to push you away. <laughs> they're going to beat themselves up a lot for it. Um, but they will come back and explain to you when they're ready um, what happened here. And, you know, that's going to satisfy you. And you're going to come together happily ever after. Great. Wonderful. Now, you can't have light without shade. The shade here is the devil and the star. This is you. This is you getting in your head, you know, thinking negative thoughts like, 
again, this is too good to be true. This isn't, this can't be what like, you know, the wish, you know, the goal, because again, I feel like this is something, you know, you've been waiting for. And you're still going to be thinking, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is true. I, you know, I can't believe that this person, especially when this person comes back, because I feel like what's going to happen, um, I mean, again, like, I'm not going to predict things. It's just given the energy here. And, you know, it's kind of like a chess game. You know, like, you see the next moves. Like, so you see what's going on. And then you can kind of see what the next moves are going to be here. I feel like when this person, you know, pushes you away and they go away, you're going to think in your head, yeah, I knew it. I knew this was too good to be true. Yeah, this was. And you're going to fall into this double energy. And then when this person comes back to be like, hey, you know, I'm sorry that I pushed you away. I'm sorry I did this. You know, I just said this and I was in my head and you're going to explain to you what happened here and you're going to accept it and just go with it and be happy. But there's still going to be that part of you where you're just like, you know, that happened and it was too good to be true. And I thought it was too good to be true. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, don't be afraid. Stay optimistic here. Um, you know, listen to your intuition, right? Listen to your intuition. Don't listen to the devil on your shoulder. The devil that's telling you that you don't deserve this. This is too good for you. You know, all that shit. Don't listen to it. You know, listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. And, you know, have some faith. Have some optimism here for the connection. Just go with it. Just go with the flow here. Ah, okay, so... I'm going to clean this up and we're going to get a final message from Spirit to kind of like wrap things up here and then we will be done. Okay. So let's just put these here. We'll put that there, the creepy fish thing. And let's get a final message from Spirit. So this is just basically what Spirit wants you to know, kind of like, don't forget this, <laughs> usually. Uh, it can be guidance, it can be advice, um, it can just be a message that sometimes the message makes no sense to me, but maybe it makes sense to you. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know here. I thought I heard a weird noise. Guess not. what is this temptation in reverse <laughs> sorry I'm just laughing because you know the devil energy keeps coming out right it keeps coming out for you and the first card that comes out is the devil in reverse and it's almost like spirits like get rid of this shit okay get rid of it yeah yeah oh yeah king of wands know what you want baby I don't know where that came from. Seven of, seven of wands in reverse. Oh, there's the queen of wands. Ooh, divine, divine couples here. Couple gold. Uh, oh, in the wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay, so spirit here is trying to tell you that it's not your fault if you get angry or if you get frustrated about the things that you want. Okay, it's not your fault. Um, if there is some frustration here uh, in trying to get the things that you want or you know, or even you know it's fine it's fine like to feel a little like annoyed here when there's something that you want really badly but it's not really working out for you you know just don't fall into this devil energy don't fall into the negative that negative zone um, you know don't don't give up either this is you know this the seven of wands you know don't give up don't surrender um don't fall into don't surrender to the devil basically don't surrender to your shadows to the negative energies here don't surrender to those negative thoughts you know where you think like you're not good enough you know don't be afraid don't think that you don't have the abilities that you don't have the confidence that you don't have the talent here don't fall into those traps that's what spirit wants you to know you know don't you don't need to be afraid you know, you are, it says here, remember, remember how powerful you are. You have the strength, you have the abilities here 
yes, it's going to get frustrating sometimes um, when things aren't going your way. Like with this person here, you want to talk to them. You, you want to clear the air, but this person, like, look at them. They don't want to talk right now. They need to figure their shit out. Also for this person, this person, they're going to say something. Maybe you might not think it's a big deal, but to them, it's a big deal. And you're going to have to make show restraint here because this person also is going to have to figure their shit out. There seems to be an energy here with these two, with these two energies this month that you're going to want to talk. You're going to want to talk to these people or you're going to want to be around these people and they don't want to, they're going to push you away and it's not your fault. That's the thing here. That's the takeaway here with the 10 of 10 of the wheel of fortune in reverse. It's not your fault. They have to figure their shit out. You know, the universe is saying, you know, they need to figure their shit out. And you know, it's best that you're not around to, for them to figure it out. You know, this new energy, this new energy is going to come back and going to explain everything to you. So stay optimistic here. You know, this other person, this other person is going to, you know, they need time to process what's going on here. And yes, it's going to be frustrating because this isn't, you know, that's not what you want. You want to talk things out. You want to like, you know, obviously you don't want this person to push you away. You know, it's, you have a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions here, but try not to get too in your head about it. You know, with the devil energy, the, the reminder here is don't give up. Try not to get, take things too personally here. It's not about you. It's not always about you, right? I mean, this, this, this reading's about you, but it's not always about you here. And this person um, has, you know, there's things that need to be dealt with. So try, try to resist these shadow energies, you know, these negative feelings. So yeah. That is what spirit wants to tell you to remind you and that is your reading pisces we're done that is the the big ass long reading here for you for technically may but you know it's for the next month whenever you find this um thanks for watching like really thanks for watching through this whole thing you know it was pretty long i don't imagine that i'm going to be doing these really long readings very often um, it might even just be kind of a one-time thing, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I never, I, I, I don't really plan too much here for the channel. Um, anyways, <laughs> if you enjoyed this reading or you found it entertaining or interesting in any way, I'd appreciate it. If you could like and or subscribe, that just helps me do more with the channel and you get notified when I post new readings hopefully shorter readings, not very long readings like this. And, um, yeah, so good luck, uh, this month, uh, take care and I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are. And I will talk to you later. Bye.